Hello and welcome. Uh, I've just been fooling around with, uh, well, let me go to the desktop here. I've just been fooling around with uh, Andre Carpathy's, uh, well, let me see here, Neural Networks Zero to Hero. And this is, I guess, the second, I'm going through the second one of his uh, again, which is the spelled out intro to language model uh, building make more. And what this is, uh, is a uh, tutorial on uh, building models uh, from scratch, and then uh, from, uh, in, or then building them in PyTorch uh, secondarily. And th this is a great series, and if you're at all interested in AI, I would highly recommend that you take this course. Uh, and if you do, there are some things that you should know about it. So first of all, this, this is up on YouTube under uh, Andre Carpathy's uh, channel, and that's easy to find. So here's the spelling for Andre. Let me make this a little bigger so you can see it more easily. A-N-D-R-E-J is the first name, and then K-A-R-P-A-T-H-Y is the last name. And then if you go in here and you do a show more down here, You'll find the links you need. Here's the link to GitHub. And so clone this repository. Uh, once you clone the repository, make yourself a uh, virtual environment. And you have to add PyTorch to that. And you have to add uh, uh, Matplotlib. I think that's it. I think that's all you need. Uh, and then there's a Jupyter Notebook over here in uh, Neuronet uh, Zero to Hero, and here it is here, and you cannot uh, download this notebook. Uh, at least I have not been able to figure out a way to do it. And even if you could download it, it wouldn't do you any good to do that because uh, Mr. Carpathy has put errors in here so that uh, it's not going to run as is, you have to figure out what's wrong with it and fix it. And I think this is an excellent way to teach. Uh, it's going to force you to really learn the material. And uh, so what I've done, I have it set up here so that I have my uh, Jupyter notebook over here on the right. And I have, uh, Andre is over here on the left, and I've just been copying and pasting and fixing and whatnot and getting this stuff to run over here. And so I wanted to show you uh, one thing quickly, which is that uh, you get something like this here, and uh, if you don't understand the syntax entirely, you can come over here and uh, here I've asked chat GPT, what is this doing? And I've put in that line of code and it explained here that uh, this was doing something called additive smoothing, which is a technique to make sure that you don't have any uh, infinite uh, lo uh, logits uh, later on in the process. And uh, you can see here, that I've had a number of problems here. Uh, so for example, this capital P here is not, uh, it's not set up. So if you look in uh, Andre's notebook here, he starts using capital P, where does he first use it? Uh, I guess over here is the first time that he uses it. And if you do p.shape, it comes back and, and tells you 
that uh, there is no array named capital P. So what do you do? Now you have to figure out uh, what this is supposed to be. And this is a good hint down here. It says it's 27 by 27. Then you have to come over here and figure out how to make that. And so uh, you can see here, here's how we made lowercase p. And it turns out that uh, we can make uppercase p just by doing this. And then we can do the p dot shape. And there it is, and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's really good that you, you need to figure this stuff out. And you can see here, uh, where is it? Uh, you know, these are some of the things that I had trouble with. Uh, you know, finding this formula here. Uh, there were any number of ways to do this. And eventually, I found this one here. Uh, this was actually somewhere in Andre's notebook. I found that, so I didn't have to use this here. Uh, all right, this this is a question I had about uh, how to do this, and uh, it turns out this does all of that. Some questions about Jupyter notebooks and so on and so forth. I guess that's the end of it, uh, but. My point here is that ChatGPT is going to make your learning experience much better because if, if you see a piece of code that you don't understand, you can just copy it. Come over here. What is this? Paste it, and it will tell you. And I understand that, uh, I understand that uh, ChatGPT is set up now to give long answers because people prefer long answers. But I guess uh, you probably could put it in here and ask for a short answer. Uh, what is, give a short, what is this? Oops, uh, give a short answer. So there you see, we got a short answer is more to the point. So for some of this stuff, you may want to add that, uh, that in there. But uh, it's really wonderful to have such a good teacher. And, and ChatGPT really understands the Python language extremely well. Uh, it must have been trained on lots and lots of code, uh, lots and lots of questions and answers. Uh, uh, from the internet, etc. So, I mean, its knowledge of PyTorch is, uh, is really good. It does get some things wrong. I asked it a question about uh, this Jupyter lab. I wanted to see about getting rid of this. And it gave me an answer for using Jupyter notebooks inside of Visual Studio Code. So, uh, it's not always 100% great but uh yeah it's it's pretty it's pretty wonderful and i've just been going through this notebook and uh getting all of this interesting stuff out of here uh i would recommend this is what i did is i watched i watched this entire uh series and then uh or oh, this entire video, and now I'm going back through it again, uh, following along with the notebook. 
And I, I think that's a good way to do it. Uh, but of course, that's up to you. Anyway, I thank you for joining me. And I hope that you learned something and enjoyed it, etc. Like and subscribe. And bye-bye.